It's a peaceful neighborhood, Greystone Estates, just off Tower Road, a little north of the expressway. That piece violated last night. Take a look at this surveillance video. Around 11.15 p.m., this white SUV pulls up in front of a home. You see the young man get out. He's clearly visible. He checks the first truck. Then he walks over and checks a car. Finally, he moves over to the last truck, unlocked. He starts rummaging around inside, grabbing things. I want people to notice particulars on this t-shirt. He does have a logo and a circle logo on the back. Um, we do have some businesses that have that particular logo. Whoever the thief is, this is the most important thing he stole. It's a Glock 30 handgun, like this one. It fires 45 caliber rounds. It was loaded. The truck belonged to Jaime Slos's father. Uh, he noticed that the door was left open to his truck, so we went ahead and looked around to see what was, what was missing. Uh, and from his truck, he realizes that his gun's missing and it's a loaded handgun. Yeah, he was pretty upset and just concerned for the public of the safety, you know, with the recent shootings. So we wanted to get this out of criminal hands. People in this neighborhood are clearly security conscious. Many have bars on their doors and windows. Police say this is an isolated crime. They have no other recent reports of thefts or break-ins in this neighborhood. Still, police say the owner of the truck made a serious blunder by leaving it unlocked with a loaded weapon inside. We know we got back from grocery shopping. Yeah, we're concealed handgun owners, so we, he had it with them at the time, you know, in the vehicle where he normally carries it, got off the vehicle, didn't, forgot to lock the truck. So, yeah, he, he knows he made a mistake, but we're just trying to correct it. Take a look at this video again. See if you recognize the thief. Police are trying to enhance the footage to see if they can pull the license plate numbers from the getaway vehicle. The owners of the gun are offering a $300 reward for information that leads to its return. They want to get it off the streets before someone can use it in the worst possible way. Police say they may have a